Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to review a Bluetooth speaker from Bose called the Soundlink Color 2. Now I know you normally come here for my drone clips and I promise to get back to those very soon, but I spend so much time around other cool gear and I love talking about technology. I have a lot of friends that ask me, Rick, what do you like in this particular category? Why are you buying that product? So I thought, let me throw a few clips together on the gear that I use on a regular basis and explain why I bought that particular product just in case you're in the market for a similar product out there. Now, Bluetooth speakers have been around for a long time, and there's a lot of companies that make Bluetooth speakers. The market's flooded with manufacturers, and there are some key differences between a good Bluetooth speaker and a not-so-good Bluetooth speaker. So as I go through this review, I'll point out some of the key things you should look for if you're in the market for one of those type of speakers. Now, Bose is a company, in general, that I'm just in love with. I've been infatuated with these guys since way back in my college days when I would walk past a dorm room and somebody had a set of the original Bose bookshelf speakers up that just blew my socks off. They were fantastic as far as clarity of audio, they had booming bass, and they were small speakers. And from a physics perspective, it doesn't make sense that a speaker that small can generate that level of bass. So I've always been intrigued by the company. When I looked into them a little bit further, I realized they're an interesting company for so many different reasons. They've been on the leading edge of acoustic suspension research and just acoustic research in general. They've done things as exotic as cold fusion research. So they're, they're into a lot of different things, but fundamentally what they are is a, an audio company that builds fantastic headphones, speakers, and other equipment that I've just bought a ton of over the years. I just find them to be fantastic products that are well engineered and typically well ahead of the competition as far as features and specifications and this is no exception. Now my other interaction with Bose which makes it even more intriguing to me is when I was younger I worked for Hewlett Packard and I was a field engineer for them where I spent a lot of time out in the field repairing gear and I got a call one time to go to the Bose headquarters in Boston. It was way up on the top of a spooky hill so it was like a, a horror movie where I'm driving the car in the pouring rain going up this winding road up to this Bose facility on the top of a hill it looked like a mad scientist laboratory. So I've always been intrigued by that company. And again, every product I've bought from them, without exception, has been fantastic. This little speaker has got a phenomenal amount of technology crammed into a tiny little package, and it is different than a lot of other speakers on the market at a very, very competitive price point. Now, I've had this thing all summer. We've used it everywhere. We've used it on the beach, in the backyard. I've used it in the car, and it just really has never let me down for a bunch of different reasons. So for starters, let me talk about what comes with the kit. Nice little box. I'm not going to do the unboxing. All the stuff you get is outside of it. You get the speaker itself. You get a charging cable, which is a micro USB charging cable. So any charger you have that has a full-size USB connection on it, you can use to charge this the sound dock. But um, this side of it is a micro USB. So again, you can use the cable they give you. You can use any standard micro USB cable you want. You get a user's manual that explains how to set it up. You've got warranty information and sort of, you know, cautions about the speaker, what you should and shouldn't do with it, and then a bunch of numbers you can call in case you've got issues. Again, I like having printed manuals. I think that that really, you know, they're treating you nice as a customer by printing out a bunch of manuals. The unit itself is a great little box for a bunch of different reasons. For starters, when you buy a portable Bluetooth speaker like this, you want it to be lightweight, but it's got to have a bit of weight to it so it stays in place. You don't want it tipping over. This one's about a pound, pound two, something like pound point two, which is about as much weight as a football. So if you bring a football along in your backpack, this weighs about the same as a football. The outside of it is completely curved, so there's no sharp edges to catch in anything. It's got a rubberized exterior, which gives you really good grip, so if you're, you're moving it from place to place, it's not gonna slip out of your hand. A lot of the less expensive ones are shiny plastic that you know is really hard to grip, I like that. It's got an IPX4 weather rating, which means if this gets wet, if you're at the beach, if you get you know sand or stuff on it, you can shake it off and it's in good shape. The only thing I worry about with the water protection is I wouldn't want it out in pouring rain because even though the vents are kind of protected, you do have an exposed connections on the side. Now these two connections on the side, that's the micro USB for charging. The one above it is a three and a half millimeter audio connection because unlike a lot of the Bluetooth speakers, this one can support external audio. So if you've got a phone or some type of device you want to play music, uh, from, you can use an audio connection from that into that side connection over there so you can drive this with a standard audio connection, which is really nice because a lot of the Bluetooths are only Bluetooth and if the device you're trying to play doesn't have a Bluetooth connection, you're out of luck. The other thing that's nice about this, and I'll go through the controls in a minute, 
but there's two connection modes. There's a full Bluetooth connection mode. There's also an NFC connection mode. So with me, I use Bluetooth for everything. I've got Android devices and Apple devices, and they work spectacularly well on Bluetooth. But if you had an NFC connection and you wanted to make it, you could do that as well. So across the top, you've got a power button, you've got the Bluetooth button, you've got an NFC button. Now be careful because when you turn this on, it comes up in Bluetooth as default. But if you hit the NFC button, it shuts off the Bluetooth, so you won't be able to make connection with it until you hit the Bluetooth button again, and then it immediately pairs up. On this side, you've got a plus and a minus for volume. Turn it up, turn it down, pretty straightforward. You've got a multifunction button here, which I'll explain in a minute. So when you first turn the thing on, it, it'll talk to you. So when you set this thing up initially, it'll ask you a bunch of questions about the language you want, your location, what devices you're going to pair up. It'll also tell you your battery level. Now you can turn that voice prompt off if you want down the road. There's a way to do that, but I'll just turn it on. You'll hear the voice prompt. Battery medium. Okay, so the battery's at medium. Two. IPhone. And it just paired to my iPhone. So I know the batteries at medium, it's paired to my iPhone. That's kind of cool the first couple times you spin it up, but over time you're going to get bored with that, so you'll probably want to turn that off. Charging this thing takes about three hours for a full charge on a decent sized charger. You get a full eight hours of playtime out of it, which is pretty cool. A lot of these go two, three hours and then they run out. I've run this thing all day and never had problems with it really cranking it up. All right, you can also connect up to eight devices. It'll remember the last eight devices, and if you connect up a new device, it'll bounce the one that was last or least connected to the device. So it's constantly rotating through eight. You can also switch between two Bluetooth devices. So if myself and my son are connected to it, or my wife and myself are connected to it, and I'm playing music and she wants to play something, I don't have to shut off my Bluetooth and then have her pair up and stuff. That's a pain in the neck. A lot of the cheaper Bluetooth boxes out there require me to break my Bluetooth, in some cases reboot the device and then have her connect up. This one doesn't do that. You can actually switch between mine and hers, uh, you know, whichever two are connected easily. In addition to that, you've got a multifunction button over here. Now, the multifunction button when it's first on is if I hit it once, it'll play. If I hit it again, it'll pause whatever I'm playing. Now, I'm already paired up. I don't even have to look at the phone at this point. If I push that button, it'll start playing the song. If I push the button twice, it'll actually jump to the next song. If I push the button three times, it'll jump back to the beginning of the song I'm playing, hit it again three times quick, it'll go to the song before that. So I don't even have to have my phone with me. It can be in a bag off to the side. And right now it's locked, so it's not even on. If I hit that button, immediate, immediately it'll start playing the audio because it's paired up to the device. One other cool feature this has, which again, a lot of the Bluetooths don't, and I like this when I'm home in the office, is it'll answer a phone call. So if you're listening to music and a phone call comes through, you'll hear it ring. You can hit that button to actually pick up the call, and you can talk to that person through the speaker. So you're going to hear the audio, you can talk to them, and again, that's really nice that if I'm in the backyard relaxing and I've got my phone off to the side but the speaker's near me, if a phone call comes through, I can actually pick up the call and take the call from here. So it's a really well-designed, multifunction product. So let me show you how the audio sounds. Now, I've got to be careful because there's a limit, I think, of five seconds of music. So what I'm going to do is put a song on just to give you a feel for how the bass goes and show you how to jump to the next song and how you can jump back to the first song. And hopefully I'm not going to get in trouble with YouTube for putting five seconds of audio in here. So I'm going to hit the button once right now. I'm in pause mode. When I hit the button, it'll start playing. Baby's in the if I hit the double button, it moves to the next song. If I hit the triple button, you can hear the bass on that. Hit it three times, goes back to the beginning of that song. Three times again, back to the first Baby's song. There's the pause. So that to me, that level of functionality, having it right there in my hands and I can take it anywhere I want, you know, it's big enough where I can bring it and put it down on a table and not have it fall over and cause problems. It's just a tremendous little box. And again, I know there's a lot of competition out there for Bluetooth speakers. A lot of people have a favorite brand they like. I'm not saying you should buy this one over the others, but if you're looking for a Bluetooth speaker that's less than 130 bucks, 140 bucks, this is a great little product. Again, comes in four different colors. So if you like, I like the white or the uh, off-white. I think there's a black and there's a few other colors you can get it in. But uh, for my money, Bose as a company is rock solid in their engineering. Um, you can also use the USB on the side, I didn't mention this, to update the firmware because they're going to change firmware from time to time inside the unit. But back to the company, they're a rock solid company that just builds phenomenally good products that are durable. I've had sets of their headphones for seven or eight years. I've got home systems from them that I've had over a decade. They sound as good today as they did then. And I will, I will challenge you to find a Bluetooth speaker that's this small that delivers the kind of bass you heard a minute ago. And I know I would love to play a long song for you and you could really hear the acoustics of it. But if you're looking for one of these Bluetooth speakers, 
go to the store locally or get on Amazon and you can find these things at a really decent price. So anyway, that's all I really had for today. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have questions about this, please drop them below. I'll put a link below where you can go to Amazon. You can read the specs back and forth against this and other products. If you decide to buy the product through that link, we get a little credit for it. So that would be nice. But you know, at the end of the day, I own a lot of products. This is one that I've used all summer. We use it all the time, wherever we happen to be. And it's just done a tremendous job for us. And we're really, really enjoying the product. So hopefully you find this helpful. Thanks an awful lot for watching. I enjoy doing these. And again, if you guys find value in them and the comments reflect that, I'm happy to do more of them. So we'll see you soon. Until next time, happy flying. Thank you.